you just turned 30, 40, maybe even 50, does that mean that you are too late to start learning how to code? No, I don't think so. For many of us, this year, 2020, is a year that we will never forget. For me, it is a very important year because this year I turned 40. And that made me think, there's probably a lot of people out there who want to become a developer and they think that they might be too old. Reaching a certain age brings on certain challenges, especially with the, the state of your life, your family, whether you have kids or not. But that doesn't mean that you're not able to start something new. Maybe the reason why you are looking into learning how to code is because you want to make a career change. Becoming a software developer is or could be very lucrative. If you take me as an example, I think my developer journey was way longer than it should have been. So I'm here in this channel sharing my insights so your journey as a developer is get shortened and you can reach success a lot quicker. So what are the challenges that you might have when you turn 40? For the sake of this video, whenever you hear me say 40 or you turn 40, what I really mean is maybe turning 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, or maybe even beyond that. I want to encourage you to not let your age be a deterrent for you to become a developer. It doesn't matter how old you are, I think anybody can start learning how to code at any age. As you've probably heard before, age is nothing but a number and I think that's that's very true for example me I started a family at a very young age and there are people who are 40 and they're still single it's not necessarily about the age but it's more about the situation you are in life for example you might have a lot of free time maybe the current job that you have allows you to have more free time um, it could be the complete opposite maybe you have young children you're raising them and maybe you might be working two jobs so the situation changes so it's not necessarily it's not necessarily your age is the situation you are in at the current point in life now if you're watching this video that means that you probably heard about the benefits of becoming a software developer the flexibility you get for example during these crazy times um, I was able to keep my job I didn't have to worry about getting less hours or earning less or having to file for unemployment. I didn't have to deal with any of that. I guess I could say that I was lucky enough that I wasn't affected much when it comes to having a job throughout these crazy times. You can consider that as one of the advantages of being a software developer. The quality of life could be good if you work for a good company. Another advantage is that you can work in an air-conditioned place. I used to work in construction back in the day and I remember how winters and summers were, especially here in California. It gets really hot when it's summer and it gets cold during the winter. Maybe not as cold as other places, but it's cold enough to be uncomfortable. And that's something you wouldn't have to deal with if you get into this career. Now, those are some of the advantages. What are the barriers to become a software developer? If you haven't been around computers enough, you might have to learn computer literacy. From my experience, computers have become a lot easier to use. Back in the early 2000s, late 90s, when I started getting into computers and programming, things were different. Computers were clunkier, heavier. You didn't have the computing power that you could get from a $500 laptop 20 years ago. So I think in that sense, things have become maybe more affordable. At the same time, this is still considered a challenge if you haven't been exposed long enough or you're not familiar enough or know your way around the computer. So that's the, the first thing you will probably have to overcome if you are not familiar with computers. That is probably the biggest challenge that I see with a person who is now 40. If you are 30, chances are you've been around a computer. On the positive side of things, there is a lot more resources now than 20 years ago. And I keep going back to 20 years ago because that's when I started. So I could only compare the resources that we have now versus when I was starting. 20 years ago, if you wanted to learn something, anything related to coding, you had to go buy a book. Barnes & Noble was my best friend. Whenever I wanted to learn something, that or, or the bookstore at college. <laughs> Whenever you wanted to learn something new, that was your only resource. Now things are a lot easier when it comes to learning how to code. Now you can jump online, go to YouTube, 
go to Team Treehouse, get a subscription there, free Code Camp, Code Academy. There are so many resources which I'll link down below that could help you learn how to code for free. If you are 40 and you're starting how to code now, things are a lot easier to start now than what it was 20 years ago. I know that starting from zero is very difficult and that is why I'm coming up with a roadmap that could help you get started. So if, if you are 40 and you want to start learning how to code, you might not know where to even start. Maybe you know that being a software developer is a good choice for you, but you don't know where to start. So I will put a link down below to a free roadmap that's going to help you guide you at least where to start. I'm not saying it's going to be a full comprehensive guide on how to become a developer, but I think it will at least give you a starting point where to start, what to learn, depending on the things that you want to do. You might not know whether you want to become a web developer, mobile developer, backend developer, full stack. Maybe you don't even know what those things mean. This roadmap will at least give you a starting point to understand where to begin. In conclusion, I think that your age or the ability to learn new things should not keep you from becoming a developer. I know a lot of developers who struggle more to learn new concepts, but they have enough determination to learn the things and become really good developers. While I've seen other people who are really smart and can pick up things right away, but they don't have the determination to actually put in the time that it takes to learn how to become a developer. In 2020, you don't need a diploma anymore. You can go to a bootcamp, you can use online resources to learn. All you need to have is a determination. You need to have a why. Why do you want to learn? Is that why big enough for you to take the step and start learning how to become a developer? Good luck and I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video useful and you wanna be notified when we publish new videos, please subscribe and catch you in the next one. You probably didn't have to experience AOM Messenger or Yahoo Messenger. Never mind.